first thing you need to do is to make sure that your printer is set up properly so inks are installed correctly uh, you've got the power cable plugged in and the, the printer is switched on then what you want to do is you want to go to the button on the printer uh, called the WPS button sometimes on your printer it might just say Wi-Fi so it'll either be a Wi-Fi button or WPS that you're looking for so press this button the WPS or Wi-Fi button hold it down for two or three seconds and then once you've done that go over to your router which is the black box where your internet comes into uh, and what you're looking for is a button on the back of the router or the side of the router called the WPS button so click that one as well and hold that down for two or three seconds you don't want to leave a gap of longer than about 30 seconds between pressing both buttons so do it straight away if you can so WPS button on the printer and then the WPS button on the side of your router and once you've pressed those two buttons that allows the printer to network to your router and communicate with the router what you want to do is take the pointer down to the search box bottom left hand corner and type in add printer In the menu, under printers and scanners, just underneath you'll see an option to add a printer or scanner. Left click once onto that option. Then, where it says add a printer at the top, click on the plus button, left click once. The computer is now looking for your printer and if the printer has successfully connected to the router using the WPS button then you should see your printer the name of your printer appear underneath and once it does left click once onto it and then left click on add device the computer is attempting to connect wirelessly between the Windows 10 and your printer and the router okay we can now see that this Epson printer here is ready to print uh, so what we want to do is test to make sure it's working properly so we can close this screen down and the way I recommend that you uh, test out your printer is to go down to the search box if you've got Microsoft Office you could use a Word document but otherwise you can use the built-in program with Windows 10 and that's WordPad so type out WordPad left click one left click once onto WordPad we get a WordPad document appear and what we can do is we can just type test and then we can attempt to print out a, a test document. Take the pointer up to file, the top left hand corner, left click once, scroll down to print and left click once. And what we want to see in here is we want to see your printer, which there it is, look, and we want to make sure that it's the default printer. And as you can see, it says there default printer. If it isn't the default printer, if you right click, you will get an option here to allow you to make it the default printer and you can just select default printer and then you will see a little green tick next door to the next to the printer here, which tells you that when you print next time, it will be using your, your printer, your designated printer will be selected. And then you can click on the print button and then the printer will print out a test document for you and hopefully that should be working.